Hey there friends, on today's super quick tech tutorial video, I'm gonna show you how to multiply cells or use the multiplication function right here in Apple Numbers. All right, let's do it. Okay, so as you can see, we're in Apple Numbers. I've made a super simple little spreadsheet here. And what I wanna do is show you two formulas where you can use the function of multiplication to get the data that you're looking for. So we've got the first quarter of this year. And so what I wanna first show you is the function of, let's say you want specific data on multiplying maybe March's numbers for Bill out for another you know, quarter or whatever, or maybe we want it to just multiply two cells together. So let's go ahead and hit the equals key that's gonna bring up our function box. And then what we wanna do is first choose the month or the box in this case that we want to multiply. So I'm gonna do March numbers up here, 100. You can see that pulls in there. And then the symbol that we're looking for that's gonna signify multiplication is the star symbol. So on a Mac, I'm gonna hit shift and then I'm gonna hold shift and hit the eight key. And as you can see, that brings up that little X, that multiplication symbol. Again, it's shift and the eight key for that little star. Now that we have this number, let's go ahead and multiply that by another box. I'm just gonna choose this one right here. And then we can click the little green checkbox. As you can see, we've got our data now. Now again, this works if you don't necessarily want to multiply two cells together, you simply wanna find out what these numbers maybe are and multiply them out for let's say the next quarter. So let's just take Bill's March numbers. Again, we have that multiplication sign, that shift eight. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in a number. So let's say we want to three right here and we are just basically estimating what Bill's numbers would be if he gets his lowest numbers ever for the next quarter. I'm gonna go ahead and click the checkbox. And as you can see, it automatically recognizes the data that we want, the format that we want, and it's gonna give us an estimate. So again, here's the formula. It's the box or again, whatever number you may want as your first piece of data, this symbol, and then the second box or number that you're gonna be multiplying by. Friends, I hope that's helped. If it has, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe. We're making a ton of these little videos for you. Hopefully make your life easier and we will see you again on the next one.